Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. Yes, today is Sawmill Day. Alright folks, so we have been progressing along. I have got the grapple on the front end of the tractor. I'm setting up a spot over here where I can pile the uh, finished lumber. I've got a little more work to do uh, with that because it will need to be picked up and taken down to the storage dome there that we prepped for it. So we're about to take the cover off of this for the first time. Uh, this year and see how level it is. That's the first thing we're checking before we do anything. So let's get this uncovered and see where we are. It is cool this morning. We had that real heat wave come through where we were up to 16 degrees Celsius, but uh, we had a change in the weather. Lots of rain yesterday. And then things have uh, cooled right off. Now at the end of the season last year, I decided to make this skid to put on top of things because just leaving the, uh, the tarp there, everything was kind of dipping down and holding way too much snow and water. So the skid made all the difference in the world. Worked very nicely. Well, that is absolutely dead on the money. Now, that's not a real surprise because this thing is, is on top of a very, very solid base, uh, sitting on uh, a bed of uh, 5 8 crushed gravel, surrounded by pressure treated 4 by 4s which is sitting on top of bedrock. So. It should stay, and it did. So that's good. It's one less thing to fool around with. All right, let's take the cover off. Now, I did leave the uh, gas can on this, the gas tank, filled to the absolute top because I didn't want airspace in there and chance of it corroding the metal uh, gas tank and of course the gas is treated as well so this is going to be difficult for you guys to see because of the Sun but <clears throat> right here there is a bolt that goes through to the other side that has a uh, nylock nut on it that's a uh, 24 millimeter so I've Loosen that off, it's quite loose. So the next step is to loosen this little bolt here and try to get my tension through that way. So this is a 13 millimeter. Now I need a way to come up with that <clears throat> allows me to pry that up and get, get it to pivot. All right, that seems to be working pretty good. So we got some nice tension on there. Let's see if I can get that to hold. Yeah, that's way better. Let's get that tight right away here. Now, kind of a normal way to do something like this is to have a block up here that's got a bolt through it that will push on this uh, to put tension on there. It makes it a lot easier, but that worked pretty good. So prying up with my big adjustable on the bottom of this and coaxing it along here, 
then tightened up the 13 millimeter bolt, and then tightened up the 24 millimeter bolt. So that's good. We now have good tension on there. My belts are all in reasonable shape. So the sawmill is ready to start. I've got the stops in place here. We know we're level. All right, I've got a little bit of tension on the blade. Not too much, but in case things start to move, I don't want the blade coming off. So let's turn the gas on, engine on, go to full choke, and let's see how she does. All right, here we go, pull number one. Second pull and it sounds good. Yeah, that was real easy. All right, let's give it a bit of gas. I should have taken this blade out, I just forgot to. Alright, we're in real good shape here. Now, the motor is idling down far enough. I don't hear any kind of bell sounding clanking. If you hear that, your motor is revving too high and it's partially engaging your clutch. That's going to wear your clutch up really, really quickly. Good. All right. So next step. We're going to grab a bite to eat. And then I've got to go down and feed the cattle. And then we're going to actually put a log on here and see how we do. All right. So far, so good. I'm very pleased. Folks, there's our first log up, and it is a really gnarly one. No big surprise. <laughs> so, this is an eight footer. We got lots of room here. We'll uh, get things started up and we'll see how we go with our first cut. I 
want to take off some of these knots and stuff on the top here first. one had quite a bow in it. That's a much better looking slide there. Now you can tell this one came out from the real uh, high part of the tree. All the branches and stuff in it. It's going to be a struggle. There's our first cant of the season. I'll be able to get uh, two by sixes out of this. So we'll flip it over, finish it up, and get the next log on. We go folks we got our first day in on the sawmill half a day actually of actually running it but we did really good I've got uh, 11 2 by 6s here I've got one 1 by 6 and a couple of uh, 3 quarter inch squares and that's it for two logs I'm quite pleased with that two very gnarly logs so I'm going to take this down to the dome that we set up get them uh, sticker and stacked, stacked and stickered, whichever way it is, and weighed down. And then tomorrow, weather permitting, we'll get back and run the mill again. But we do have some rain coming, so I want to get it running as much as I can to get through this stuff. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. It's getting a little late in the day. I'm exhausted, and it is time to go in for dinner. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you're finding the videos interesting, or at the very least, a little entertaining. And don't forget to give it a like and share it around. And I'd really love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would help a lot. So remember to stay safe out there, folks. Be good to each other. And we'll see you out on the trails the next time. <laughs>